And I spend a lot of time observing the way my wife does things and going, how can I integrate some of this into who I am? What's a good example right? of like what a man a man could take from femininity? Uh, di- diplomacy, sorting things out by talking about them, like understanding where other people are coming from. And oh, going, my girlfriend's way less diplomatic. Than <laughs> <me>. <laughs> I just watch it go. Uh, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. It's quite the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Just like the slightest, like, <laughs> listen, I understand how you're seeing this, like, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. 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 And and a bit of empathy, which is not natural to me. Yeah. Uh, but really? No. 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 I'm Russian. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do empathy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm more naturally like that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's because cool. I have to sort of shield myself sometimes the way girls do, probably. But because I see gr- well, I'm, where it's more like. You can't have too many people's energy around you because you suck it in too much and feel bad, you know? Mm. Well, the thing is, all skills are situational, right? Like some skills, like, for example, being strong-minded and not giving a shit. It's really useful in some context. Awful in other contexts yeah. where it's not going to help, right? Likewise, with the more feminine ways of being, very good in some situations, not good in others. So you got if you want to be an integrated person, you've got to put those two things and together. And find which ways you're good at yeah. and then which ones you're bad at. Yeah. Find a way to shield against Yeah, you've got to work on your weaknesses too. Yeah. And for me, the feminine side was always a weakness, so I always wanted to get better at that. Yeah. I think you're, it all boils down to social media too because you're right. Like In real life, before, if you were like an empathetic person, you're just like, I have these seven people to care. And it's like, that's how many I can handle almost. And now it's like, oh, I have to like... Uh, allegedly feel empathetic for millions and millions of people and I think it just overloads them and put that's maybe what puts people in like these war modes or whatever because you're just like not built to feel empathetic for millions of people yeah no and it's the problem is also as well we've been encouraged to behave like victims and if you remember like when we were brought when we were kids it was like you know the, the message was always like you know you, you get up you, you go again you stand on your own two feet you know etc 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 whereas now like the one comedian posted up on Facebook, this is quite a big comedian, about how somebody shoved them on a platform in a train station and it ruined their day. And you go, what the fuck is wrong with this you? This isn't for my business, yeah. Yeah, and you just... And Tell you, your fucking, like, your wife this, not yeah, me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you just think, like, if you constantly train yourself to, to see yourself as a victim, then you're going to end up being a victim... And more importantly than that, you're going to end up being desperately, horrifically, awfully miserable. And here's an interesting thing about your point about femininity and masculinity, right? Being a victim works for women. Doesn't work for men. Works poorly for men. Yeah. Yeah. No one gives a shit. (laughs) Yeah. Right? It doesn't. No, no one I mean, I'd shit. say they probably give a shit more now than they did before, but yeah, still. Yeah, yeah you'll get a few likes on your Facebook or whatever else. It ain't going to get you laid, mate. No. But, but that's... And, and, and to me, I'll be honest with you, that works for me. I'm happy with that. Men, men, men need to go out and do shit. You're not going to get points for being a victim. You're going to get points for going out, building, creating, making things happen, rising in your status, career, whatever. That's how yeah. a man gets shit, right? A woman, different approaches, right? So this ideology is not good for men because it's not going to work for you. It, the most people that I've seen that it kind of made them depressed and all that stuff is probably men. Yeah, wrecked yeah, them the most. Yeah. 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 Yeah, anti- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because no anti- one gives a shit. It's the antithesis of our being. When we do something, when we achieve something, we feel great. You know, your testosterone rises. You feel good. You feel mm. powerful. If you just constantly see yourself as, you know, life is putting it upon you and you have no power and whatever else, then you're done. Yeah. You see it on Twitter where people go, bipolar, ADHD, or like that. It's just that way of seeing the world is sick. Because you see these these illnesses or these conditions as essentially a fundamental part of your identity. Yeah. And you're never going to overcome that. I've got ADHD. I call it fucking spaz brain, right? And I, I, I forget shit and I, you know, but so what? It's not your identity. It's not my identity. Right. Yeah. It means I have to have lists wherever I fucking go to like tick it off. I do too. Yeah, yeah I can't exactly. spell. Yeah. No, I don't have that, mate. I'm intelligent. But <laughs> <laughs> A couple of times they can't spell. <laughs> but, but, so what's the alternative? What, I just sit at home, put it in my Twitter bar and feel sorry for myself yeah. and watch my life right. slowly disintegrate because I have no structure. Yeah, who's no. this helping? Yeah. It's not helping anyone. It's not helping me. It's not helping the people Helping around. the people trying to raise money on you, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. and, and this is the difference, I think, because if you're a woman, people naturally will empathize more and give you compassion and, and help you along. Yeah. As a guy, if you're not doing well, most people aren't going to have empathy and compassion. They they might try and help you, you know, to try and 
kick give you a kick up the ass but they're not they're not going to like hold your hand and and stroke your hair or whatever do you know what i mean yeah you have to make it you i always yeah, yeah. you i feel like with guys you want to give them like you offer them like actual solutions yeah. you're like hey i'm not here to hear your story but do you need the thousand dollars like yeah. do right. you want yo can <laughs> right. i drive you somewhere like yo yeah. do you need a job you're like you know what maybe i know a body like you're like can i functionally help in the real world well, something right. but you're like i'm not listening to you go on yeah, and on sometimes yeah. women don't that's want not, that. no, none of us that's helping yeah women just straight up are like I don't want that. I just want to just cry about it. I want to cry. Yeah, and that's, and that's I think cool. I have, you have trouble. Guys have trouble with that sometimes because yeah. yeah. you're like, yeah, you're just like. I had to learn that with my wife. Yeah, yeah. I had to learn that. Yeah. You know, because yeah, you're trying to offer a real solution. And they're like, right. I don't no, want no, a real no, solution. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants that? This is the new clips channel. Hit us with a subscribe. Let's get those numbers up. Thank you. Peace.